The summer is over. It's time to put away the suntan lotion and bring out the jackets. Over the past 16 weeks, Tim and I have had the opportunity to travel more than 1,700 miles of the Big Sky Country, looking at what makes Montana truly the treasure state. I won't try to rate the experience for you. There are some things that can never be measured, like memories. It's been said that you have to know where you've been in order to know where you're going. With that in mind, Tim and I would like to show you some of the things that we've seen. We've seen what town spirit means to the town of Shoto and experienced the thrills of Conrad's whoop-up days. We've soared with an aerial stunt team in the blue skies over Shelby and felt the pain of riders in the belt rodeo. We've floated a quiet day on the mighty Missouri River and seen the thrills, chills, and spills of Haver's seventh annual Milk River Run. There was the week that we raided that wild Augusta rodeo, and the next week we explored tired relics of the age of steam at Memke's Steam Museum. The College of Great Falls held a ride and tie contest near Monarch. Tim and I were there. We also had the truly unique opportunity to explore with the Lewis and Clark Great Falls Portage recreation our salute to the city's centennial. At State Fair we tempted taste buds and quenched them the next week with a return visit to the scenic universe of the Missouri River. We took a trip to the Canadian border, and closer to home we dived into the American sport of garage sailing. And finally, we returned to small town pride with the Sand Coulee Centennial Celebration. We've pretty much seen it all. You might even say, the end. So that, as the school report says, is how Tim and I spent the summer of 1984. It's been an enjoyable 16 weeks. We've seen a lot of interesting places, met a lot of very nice people. We hope you've enjoyed watching the big sky as much as we enjoyed producing it. For MTN News, Joe Lawson with videographer Tim Lundstra, Under the Big Sky.